Welcome to the Tech Today podcast powered by CEO Raider. It's your host, John Mayetta. I thought it would be a stock picker's market on the way up. I guess I was wrong because everything is lifting. Hey, we're lowering Q1 guidance. We're taking away guidance for the rest of the year. And that's it. That's the press release. We'll see you on the earnings call. And stocks are trading up. You know, we talked about FIS last night. And FIS, look, they're, they're a market leader. If you have to be invested, uh, we would advocate that you be invested with, with leaders. FIS, FactSet, SSNC Technologies, PayPal, IHS, CoStar Group, all the market leaders you've heard us talk about over the years. You know, Amazon. But I've got to believe this market has another leg down. And I don't know if that's off of Q2. When companies say, hey, we still have limited visibility, we're still not going to issue guidance, no better, no worse. We're not sure if it's going to take a, a couple of quarters of results coming in below what the street has estimated, or if it's going to take us getting through calendar 2020, going into 2021, and when companies start to talk about 2021, those outlooks are below where the street has modeled. Maybe that's what it's going to take. But you have a number of companies that have largely recovered off of their lows. Maybe they're down 15% off of the lows. And yet we're going into an awful economic backdrop. The commercial real estate bankruptcies haven't even begun to flow through. Small business mortgage defaults have only begun. Residential mortgage defaults have only begun. I don't know what's so rosy. Job losses are mounting. None of what I'm talking about is bullish. So why are stocks up? I've, I've got to believe it's this bullshit that I've railed against for the past past several years, but it's been going on for the past decade plus, where uh, you, you've had this massive inflows into ETFs. And even prior to that, even... Thinking back to my days at, at Putnam in the late 90s, many of the funds at, at that time were largely closet index funds. Slightly overweight the index here, slightly underweight the index there. I mean, that's not active portfolio management. So we for sure on the way down, everything pulled back en masse. It clearly looked like uh, ETFs, passive funds were liquidating on the way down. And it looks like they're the ones driving the, the, the buy volume on the way up. Because there's little differentiation between between companies, between stocks. And in the stock pickers market, uh, you would expect that some stocks would outperform the, the others within a particular vertical, within a particular industry. And so I feel like we have another leg down. And I feel like when we, when we have, when investor sentiment is like it was in 08 at the bottom, oh, the market's rigged. I'm never going to participate in the market again. This is a joke. I'm, gonna, I'm done being a, a portfolio manager. I'm going to go do something else uh, for a living. I don't get the market any longer. When people really sour on the market, then that's probably a bottom. And then coming off of that bottom, it'll be a stock picker's market. Your guess is as good as mine as, as to when that may, may come. But to see these uh, equities lifting, uh, technology stocks lifting off of what I would consider to be bad news, or at least heightened uncertainty, doesn't make any sense. It's not logical. And then in addition, I would love to see the country open uh, in terms of small businesses. Let small businesses open for business. Let them open at their own risk. Let customers patronize those establishments at their own risk. Oh, but if we lift the social distancing, then you know it, it, it's not just those, those people who are visiting restaurants that will be at risk. It's who they come in contact with and so on and so forth. We, we're driving the economy into hell in a handbasket. Before I rant and rave about it, I'm going to wrap up the podcast. It's all for now. See you next time.